back to my channel. I'm Teacher Masero, and today I'm going to teach you three easy ways of finding the nth term expression of a linear sequence and how to find or how to continue with the sequence. Okay, how to find the next two terms and how to find the term to term rule. So, if you want to learn that, tune in. So we are supposed to find the next two terms. We are supposed to find the next two terms, right? So we are going to find the difference, right? What they did to get to the next term. So they were adding 4. You can see that from 5 to 9, they have added 4. From 9 to 13, they have added 4, right? So this means this is a linear sequence or arithmetic sequence because the first difference is the same. Now, here we are going to add 4 and then we are going to get 21. We are going to add 4 to get to the next term. And we are going to have 25, right? And then they can ask you, find the term to term rule. Term to term rule, okay? So this one you just use with, you add you write add 4, right? Even if you write your 4, you know it's still okay. Or you can just write like this. This is your term to term rule, okay? Now, let's get to the part where we're supposed to find the nth term expression, okay? The nth term expression or the nth term formula for number 1. So, Tn is equals to, this is the first method. Right, this is our first method that we're going to use. So Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 D. N minus 1 D, whereby A is the first term. A is the first term. Okay, first term in this sequence. So here our A is 5. N, N is the position. Okay, so 13 is in the third position, 9 is in the second position, right? And then D is the difference. D is the difference between the terms. We can see that from 5 to 9, we have added 4. So our difference is positive 4, okay? Now, let's substitute our 5 and our difference in the formula, okay? In the formula to get the expression for number 1, right? So we're going to have Tn equals to A, the first term, 5, 5 plus N minus 1, D is the difference, which is 4. 4, right? You remove bracket. We're going to have 5 plus 4N minus 4. You say 4 times n, 4 n, 4 times negative 1, negative 4. Okay? And then this is 4 n, 5 minus 4 is 1. Right? This is our n term expression. So, let me show you how to check if your answer is correct. Okay? So, when you are checking you can use term 2 or term 3 or whichever term you like. So I'm going to use term 2. Term 2 is equal to 4 times 2 plus 1. I'm going to see if I'm going to get the term at the second position, which is 9, right? So you can see that 8 plus 1 is 9. It's in the second position, which means that this answer is correct, right? You can maybe check using term 3, right? Term 3 equals to 4 times 3, which is 12 plus 1. 13. You can see that 
Thirteen is in the third position, which means that this is correct, right? You don't need to show this when you are writing in your exam or your test, right? You can even use your calculator to find if your expression is correct, okay? Just punch and check if your expression is correct. But even if you write it, it's still okay, okay? The second method. Let's use the second method. So the second method, we have Tn equals to An plus B, okay? An plus B, whereby A is the difference. Here, A is the difference, okay? So we're going to have 4, right? After that, you just take A, the second method. Let's use the second method. So the second method, we have Tn equals to An plus B, okay? An plus B, whereby A is the difference. Here, A is the difference, okay? So we're going to have 4, right? After that, you just take any term from here, right? You can just take the second term or the third term. Let's use the third term. The third term is 13. 13 is in the third position. So 13 and is position, remember? So we use 3 because 13 is in the third position plus B. Here we're going to look for our B, okay? We're going to have 13 equals to 12 plus B. So it means that our B is 13 minus 12, which is 1. So your final answer is going to be Tn equals to 4, 4n plus 1, right? To check if it's correct, you use the same way or the same method we used that side when we were checking, okay? To check, you use the same method we used when we were checking using the first method, okay? Now the third method, the third method, we have Tn equals to An plus B, whereby A is the difference is 4, right? Tn equals to 4N. And to find our B, to find our B, we are going to look for the term before 5. A term before 5, right? The term before the first term, right? So you can see that for you to get 5 from 9, you have subtracted 4. You have subtracted 4 from 9 to 5. So what about 5 to the next 10? We are still going to subtract 4. So 5 minus 4 is 1. So it means that the 10 before the first 10 is 1. So plus 1. You can see that they are the same. So this is how we use the three methods. Okay? We're going to use them in example 2. Okay, number 2 we have 10, 7, 4, 1, dash, dash, right? So we're supposed to fill in the next two terms. And to find the difference, that's the first step. We're supposed to find the difference between the terms, okay? So from 10 to 7, we have negative 3. We have negative 3. We have negative 3. It means even here, to get the, to the next term, we're going to subtract 3, right? So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 3, we're going to get negative 5, right? That's how you find the next two terms, okay? Now we're supposed to find the nth term expression. The nth term expression. We know that this is linear because... The first difference is the same. That's why this is a linear sequence. Okay? So we're going to use the first method. First method. First. So using the first method, you know that Tn equals to A plus N minus 1 in brackets D. Whereby A is the first term. And our first term is 10. So we're going to have 10 plus N minus 1. D is the difference, which is negative 3. 
right? Remove brackets here. We're going to have 10 minus 3n plus 3, right? So our final answer is 30 minus 3n, or you can say our final answer is negative 3n plus 13, okay? So let's check. Let's check if our answer is correct, okay? T3 equals to 30 minus 3 times 3, right? This is 13 minus 9, which is 4. Our answer is correct. This is the answer. So it means that it's correct after you check, okay? You can even check using your calculator to see if your answer is correct. You don't need to write this step. You can just punch and check if your TN is correct, right? The second method we have TN equals to AN plus B, right? AN plus B. And here A, for this method, A is the difference, okay? So we're going to have negative negative. 3, right? And we are going to use the second term, which is 7, 2 here, because we have used the second term, right? If you use 4 here, if you use 4 here, it means that you are going to use 3 here, right? Because 4 is in the third term. 4 is the third term, because 4 is the third term, right? So, I have used 7 because 7 is the second term. Right, I want to find B. So I'm going to have 7 equals to minus 6 plus B, right? So it means that my B is going to be 13, right? You take negative 6 to the other side and it's going to be 7 plus 6, which is 13, right? So the final answer is going to be Tn is equals to negative 3n plus B and our B is 13. Okay, method. Okay, let's use the third method. The third method. Okay, so for the third method, we have Tn equals to An plus B, where A, where A is the difference. So we have Tn equals to negative 3 and and to find B, to find B, you look for the term before, you look for the term before the first term, this one here, okay? So we can see that from 7 to get to 10, from 7 to get to 10, we have, we have added 3, right? So from 10 to the 10 before 10, we add 3 to get it, which is 13. So we have negative 3n plus 13. This is the third method. Now let's get to number three. Okay, number three, we have six, eleven, sixteen, right? So A, find the next two terms. Find the next two terms. So for us to be able to find the next two terms is to check what they were doing to get to the next step, okay? So from six to get to eleven, they add five. Even here, you add 5 to get to 16. So from 16 to get our next term, we're going to add 5, right? Which is going to be 21. And from 21 to our next term, we're going to add 5. And we're going to get 26, right? So we are done with our A. Now let's get to B. Find the term to term rule. Okay, so the term to term rule, they were adding 5. So you just write add 5, right? They were adding 5 to the previous term. They were adding 5 to the previous term. Now see, find the nth term formula. See, we are supposed to find the nth term formula. For number 3, we are just going to use one method. Okay, we are going to use one method. We have C. Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1d, n minus 1d, right? So
So Tn is equal to A, which is the first term, 6. So we have 6 plus N minus 1. D, the difference is 5. It's 5. Right? So we have 6 plus 5 N minus 5. Right? So this is going to give us 5 N, and then you collect like terms. 6 minus 5 is plus 1. This is our nth term formula. And to check if this is right, just use your calculator. Or let's check together. Check. Right. Let's get take T3. T3. We want to see if T3 is going to give us 16. T3 is 5 times 3 plus 1. You know that 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Is uh, 16, so it means that this is correct. Okay, D find the 21st term. Find the 21st term. So, D we have T21 is equal to 5. Where you see N, you substitute with 21. 21 plus 1, right. Then you use your calculator. So 5 times 21 plus 1 is 106. 106. So 106 is the 21st term. Right? Okay. E we have 76 is in which position? 76 is in which position? So we are supposed to find the N. Okay. We have Tn equals to 5n plus 1, right? So 76 is equals to 5n plus 1. We are supposed to find our n, okay? We're going to take 1 to the other side, so it's going to be 76 minus 1. 76 minus 1, which is 75. So we have 75 equals to 5n. And we divide by 5 both side we divide by five both side and our n is going to be 15 n equals to 15 so it means that 76 is in the 15th position okay so i hope you have learned a lot today and you have enjoyed this topic so make sure to download a worksheet so that you can practice okay and do not forget to subscribe like and share